Hi everybody, welcome back. And today is just going to be a quick update on the fan collection as of today at the end of October 2022. Now, obviously, as you can see, I've got uh, most of the collection from last summer here lined up uh, in this corridor. And I think it looks pretty good here. I've managed to clear some space and uh, I've given them a good clean ready for winter when they're not going to be used and ready for recommissioning next summer. Now over here we have the workstation and you can see that I've got a couple of new fans here that I picked up the other day. Now that it's out of fan season, fans are getting considerably cheaper on Marketplace, which I love. So picking some up and reconditioning them. Here is obviously the CED STF-16 model, which I cleaned up because it was stored in a smoker's house for the majority of its life. So uh, consequently, it smelled considerably of cigarettes every time you turned it on. Given that a good clean up with the multi-surface polish and it's working much better now. This one was perfect as it came. I am going to give it a bit of a dust, but uh, I'll get that sorted out and probably store it ready for next summer. Uh, this little Rowenta fan here, I've got a video coming out specifically on tomorrow. And once that's been uploaded, I'll pop that in the top right hand corner of the screen for you to watch now. And this one is a Carlton fan, which I managed to pick up for just £2 because of the uh, condition it's in. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the blades are incredibly dusty, so I haven't actually braved properly running it yet, but uh, I know it works because I have tested it. Um going to give that a good dust today, um, so, but I've just got it out so you can see it before I give it a good clean. And then perhaps I'll make a video on it once it's all cleaned up. Now, over here, we have a pair of vintage pedestal fans, which I managed to pick up the other day. The first one we have here is a Golden Field CA brand, which I've never heard of before. But it's actually got an on-off timer there for an hour. You can see uh, that light illuminates when it's switched on. And I'll show you a clip of that running now because it's pretty cool. Another interesting fact about this fan is that its height adjustment is actually telescopic or such uh, it, that it has a spring inside. So that when you unfasten that dial, it will actually just elevate on its own. And uh, likewise, you can just push it back down again if you wanted it to be lower. But it takes literally all the hassle out of pulling up fans uh, out of the base that uh, you'd have to do with normal fans. Namely this one over here, which is a Emily 97 Super Deluxe. Now I've never heard of that before either. Uh, I did some research and I genuinely can't find a single thing about this, so it's probably rebranded. Um, unfortunately, I did have a bit of bad luck with this one this morning as I was giving it a good clean because, my God, it was dusty. And uh, the plastic on the blades has actually become so brittle that uh, a, a portion of that blade snapped off. And uh, I did have a look around for some replacement blades, uh, but unfortunately there aren't any. It's uh, quite a unique fan, as you can probably imagine. Uh, it looks really nice, actually, with this grill on. As you can see, it's... Uh, not a sort of fan you come across very often with this design as well. Um, but nevertheless, I have glued it back on and uh, I'm going to test it shortly just to see how well that, that has actually worked. Because the last thing that I want to happen is to turn this fan on and for that piece of blade to just fly off and hit somebody. Um, especially considering that this motor is a 100 watt motor. <laughs> 100 watts. So that makes that the most powerful fan uh, that I actually have in my collection. So... Yeah, probably not going to be using that on high speed for the foreseeable future, but uh, if I do ever need a high speed fan, I will probably stick to this one, as this one is in perfect working order. Anyway guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked my little update on the collection, and if you want to be kept in the loop for any more of my future fan videos, restorations and repairs, do be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching!